Hello and welcome to Frightfully Forgotten and we're gonna do something a little different for you. We're gonna do a reaction video to Halloween 2. Our favorite scenes and the best scenes from Halloween 2. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, Halloween 2 gets a lot of uh, flack for being, you know, introducing the whole sister timeline, which some people hate. Yeah. I don't mind it. For me, it's just, that's the story. We really enjoy Halloween 2. It's one of those <laughs> yeah. movies we often put on after we're done shooting. I think Halloween 2 is funner than the first one. Like, it's a lot more enjoyable than the first one. The first one's better. Yeah. You know, obviously. But this is more enjoyable. It's got more rewatchability. <laughs> yeah. Because it's more of a slasher film. It was made to kind of jump off of the whole slasher phenomenon, yeah. right? So, Which Carpenter helped to create yeah. too, right? Yeah. It's interesting. He helped to create, like, kickstart all this shit. And then he also had to create a sequel that was different than the one yeah, he made. He made. Yeah. But that was also riding this wave. It made a sequel to ride a wave of unoriginality. <laughs> yeah. That's basically what it was. Yeah. But it's still a fun movie, and so let's start off with uh, the first original scene from Halloween 2. When you watch Halloween 2, the first scene is a recap. <laughs> yeah, and you see the outline Some of super them. outline. <laughs> like... And it's all blood? Yeah. Like, is it... <laughs> And again, but the thing about the brilliant thing about this movie, it looks like the first movie. The mm -hmm. way it's shot, the lighting, yep. it looks like the first movie. And it's, you know, you can shit on this movie all you want, but it's actually a rare thing to see a sequel jump right off of the end the first one. of the first one. And being almost so seamless Very as seamless, this one is. Yeah. And here we go. Perfect. One of the best lines of the whole franchise. Yeah. Coming up right here. <laughs> he's still on the loose. You don't know what death yeah, is. is. <laughs> yeah. I really like the opening credits for Halloween 2. For two reasons. I like the updated theme because it's yeah. it's similar enough, but it's also updated just enough. I actually might even prefer the Halloween 2 opening credits oh, over, over Halloween 1. Or the opening, like the the scene here? The or? scene. So here we go. The, the first scene after the credits, which is the famous... Uh, I shot him, know, six, shot him times. six times! I shot him in the heart! Halloween Kills did a good job of... I was just gonna say that, yeah. ...of recreating this whole vibe, right? Until they went too far. Too far. But here we go. I shot him six times! <laughs> I shot him six times! I shot him in the heart! This man! I shot him six times! At least three times, I shot him six times. He's not a human! <laughs> and Loomis again, driving that home, that he's not a man, he's not human. The fact that Michael is watching him, right? I like that, that Michael is yeah. watching him. Pumpkin, though, reminds you that it's still Halloween night. And the neighbors and all that, they're watching Night of the Living Dead, right? A uh, horror movies? Yeah, I like that, the fact they're watching uh, horror movies on Halloween night, on cable, which is a... What we talked about last year for our uh, Halloween watch along is it's yeah. such a it seems like it's such a outdated thing now so yeah. wa whatever happens to be on cable television that night is what you're watching for Halloween yeah you, you know? don't have a choice yeah he takes the knife super dripping with blood <laughs> like so much blood kills the random girl in her house yeah which is basically it's I think it's they're just trying to make a slasher and yeah. it's got nothing to do with the plot yeah. and again it's why i think a lot of people may have shit on this movie it's that is the cookie cutter aspect of halloween 2. but that being said you still need to keep the pacing going taking the bodies out of the house the same actors and the same music yeah even though jamie lee curtis is wearing a fucking shitty ass wig yeah like the worst wig it's all some different color to it and everything. It, when like, I was a kid watching this, I didn't even think it was the same person. To me, that does not look like Jamie Lee Curtis. No. Like, who is that? It looks like some sick stunt double or something. <laughs> yeah. 
take him to Dr. Mixture. He's all pissed. Yeah. <laughs> so this is another scene. I don't think it was really needed for the movie. It was just done for shock value. Yeah, Alley. of course. But it also made all of his kids scared of eating candy apple because his kid... Ah, oh, he's got the razor, razor blade. blade in the mouth. Like, oh. It's for shock value. The next scene we're going to comment on is Loomis in the car with Bracket. <laughs> you got that sick light that yeah, that light is shining. <laughs> that light for fishing yeah. and all that. Put, put a light down there. Put a light down there. Light down there. Well, keep going. Well, keep, keep going. going. He's got this, pulls out this big fucking gun. <laughs> Again, Loomis with yeah, the mission. You right? let him out. I, 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 I hate I how hate everyone says you let him out because he didn't let him out. He didn't let him out. They make that blatantly obvious in the first movie. Will you put that thing away? <laughs> <laughs> I love the whole... You know, that's one thing that's, I think, missing a bit from some of the sequels is that bracket Loomis... Yeah. The, you know, they do, they do a little bit in part four. Over there, over there, look, 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 look. Ben Tramer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Get back. Get back. I like this guy's in no hurry. He just <laughs> turns all slow and starts walking like Michael Myers. Like, no wonder yeah. he got fucking <laughs> blown up. Yeah. Stop! 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 <laughs> Poor Ben Train. Yeah. He gets all blown <laughs> up. Is it him? Is it him or not? I love, like, Donald Pleasant sells it like a son of a bitch here. Oh, yeah, big time. Because he doesn't know. He's looking, he doesn't yeah. know. How can he tell? I love that, too, how they use Halloween night for, like, all these innocent kids are out yeah, there yeah. wearing masks, right? Mm. This scene here is so good. See, one of them was Annie. See, I love that scene because yeah. it's like it drives you home that this is happening to real people. Yeah. Real people's children are being killed. Yeah. You don't get that in too many slashers where it's like, uh, this is happening to like your neighbor. Exactly, yeah. You know? And this is a small town where everybody knows each other too. Yeah. It's Annie. <laughs> what was Annie? Here we go. Dana Carvey in some <laughs> sick fisherman's hat and like a life preserver. Yeah, vest. like this. Marty McFly style. And here I think this is where this movie kind of like is maybe cut above the rest when it comes to slashers. Or it kind of tries to drive this home is the fact that like your family is being killed mm -hmm. it also helps to drive home that michael myers is a monster yeah. too i am talking about the real possibility that he is still out there <laughs> still He's out still there, out there. Still out there. <laughs> The thing about Loomis, it's not even a possibility. He knows he's still out there. It's allowed now! And, and he's still selling it. Yeah. He still has to keep selling it. And no one time. No one believes him, even though yeah. nobody fucking listens to him. So I always thought this was a cool scene, too, because they're watching the newscast on the TV at the hospital. And they're all <laughs> doubting what they're hearing, like most people yeah. do. Ah, news is all bullshit. But that's that, that <laughs> yeah. tweezers smoking that joint. <laughs> God Goddamn God homecoming. homecoming. <laughs> they show that useless security guard. If you're gonna be an asshole, you, you wanna be like Bud. Yeah, and here we go. Here's Bud at his best. I like how you can still hear Night of Living Dead playing in the background. The continuity is quite good there. Mm -hmm. Well, Julie's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> she escaped her last night. You don't have to swear, but... She's a goddamn moron. <laughs> <laughs> a goddamn moron. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I guess I just fuck up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face that he yeah, just knows he, what he's he knows. doing. I love the shitty Halloween decorations, like yeah. a really shitty job of being Halloween. But that's exactly what it would be what like would be in a, the workplace. Yeah, it wouldn't be right? all grand or anything. No. Like some shitty things. Yeah. So one of our favorite scenes in this movie is actually 
<laughs> a kill scene because yeah. the kills in this movie are quite good. They're actually, probably one of the best in the whole series. The poor security guard. <laughs> he goes to investigate a noise, yeah. and he gets his. <laughs> All that shit falls on him. <laughs> it's such a good kill. Here we go. <laughs> she. <laughs> Out of that steel into the skull. Oh, I like how they're all trashing the Myers house here. It's yeah. like that. Okay, that makes sense. Mob mentality. Yep. This is a wake. <laughs> this is a wake. <laughs> Heightens my sense of security. I watch this and I see those new Halloween movies so much and just see how this did it right. They all, the they other ones all, did them wrong. Yeah, they all did them wrong. And they, they, they overdid the mob thing in the new movies. They, they super, super overdid, overdid it. the mob thing. <laughs> he throw mesh, throws that cigarette. Oh, God. So next scene here we're going to comment on is one of the probably most classic scenes from Halloween 2, and that is the... The hot tub scene. Yes. Like, who has the time, like, if you're working in a hospital, who has the time to, like, bugger off to some weird... <laughs> this Arjo tub yeah, thing? Like, and, like... Hey now! Hey now! Now this is where I think Halloween gets a little kind of uh, tropey. Yeah. Is this scene, right? Well, yeah. Like, they kept it classy in the first one, right? Yeah. But this movie has to break all those rules. So they gotta kind of, you know, gotta elevate everything. This whole hot tub scene does dumb the movie down just, yeah, a, just little a little bit. bit. I like how Michael stays mostly in the shadows yeah. and behind that frosted glass. I like how Michael doesn't use a knife here. He right strangles here. Yeah. him. Yeah, right here. But yeah, he's still kept in the shadows. Like, they, they still do a very good job of that, which is what is needed for Michael. You yeah. need to keep him in the shadows. You, you cannot show him too much. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. It also lends credence to the fact, too, that he's kind of not human. The fact that is he can withstand that heat, right? Yeah, yeah, he can have his hand in all that scalding water. She's all boiled up. People have mixed feelings about this. I don't mind it. Yeah, I don't mind it either. Yeah. I, I think this is... You can't have a rehash of the first one, yeah. right? You, you just simply can't. So, where else are they going to go? I thought... I know Carpenter hated it, right? He hated writing. And he came up with it. Yeah, he came up with it and he hated it. But I don't mind it because where else are you going to take that? You have to take it somewhere, right? Yeah, you got to go somewhere. So it's not such a bad thing. What did make it horrible was the sequels to follow. Yeah. It wasn't this movie. It was what everybody else took later out of all of this, right? Sam <laughs> Yeah, which is mispronounced. It's supposed to be Samhain. Samhain, yeah. Which they get right in Halloween 3. So this is where one of the nurses goes in to get Dr. Mixture. And... What kind of name is Dr. <laughs> Mixture? <laughs> it's a good name for a doctor, I guess. Some alchemist. Dr. Mixture has like a whole suite all yeah. to himself. Some like, shower and everything. He's got a shower like, and it's like he's practically a whole house. Yeah, some in fucking the fucking hospital. <laughs> some fucking pad that he's all got. Some fish tank. And <laughs> like what the fuck? He's all <laughs> Michael took care of that. Dr. Mixture. Is <laughs> <laughs> and then this is great. This is exactly what the Halloween movies should always have, where Michael just appears. Yeah, out of the shadows, yeah. Just brilliant. Oh, and the needle in the eye. Oh. So Lori kind of knows by this point that somebody, Michael's after her. So she gets out of the bed and then hobbles down to another room and gets the phone and she's all in that medicated daze and all that shit. Yeah. And I, yeah, it's like, we both don't kind of agree with where they're kind of trying to take this, right? No. I think no. they're trying to make her, they're trying to make her more incapacitated 
to try and... I think they're trying to lure you into a false sense. I don't have a problem with the sister thing. I have a problem with Lori being in this hospital, which has no other people in it. <laughs> yeah. You know, trying to get away from Michael Myers. And that's just, it seems like it's, it's a good setting, but they did a bad job at using that setting. So here's one of the classic scenes that a lot of Halloween movies moving forward ripped off. H2O, for one. Which is they... the, the nurse gets the knife or the scalpel through the back. It's a great yeah. scene. Yeah. Oh. You, you, you just feel it, too. I like the scalpel. Yeah. Like, I like the clack, yeah, the clacking of the shoes. Yeah. And they got that... Din -din. Yeah. They got, they got it down. Like, this is what you need. This is Halloween. Michael Myers is too slow. Yeah. He's way too slow in this. Like, they made him yeah. too robotic, too slow. It's like, okay, well... She, she'd be out of the fucking hospital by now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where... Yeah, he's all he's super, super slow. slow like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And I know John Carpenter said he was influenced by Westworld and all that shit, but like, yeah. there, he's not a robot. He is a human. Yeah. So here's where Dr. Loomis finds out that Lori is Michael's sister. Great scene. Yeah. What file? What file? <laughs> what file? <laughs> What do you fellas usually do? Fire a warning shot, right? Boom! Turn this car around! <laughs> Turn this car around now! At this point of the movie, you only have 15 minutes left. And, yeah. like, now you start to learn the whole story. Well, that's fine! Yeah. It's not like it would have been different if you learned it at the start, I think. Dr. Loomis is pulling up here, and, you know, Lori Strode's all just in the parking lot. All, oh. I, she can't say anything, which is what I don't get. Yeah, which I find kind of weird, which is like, a problem I have with this movie is how feeble, fucked up and feeble Lori is. Yeah. But, you know, Donald Pleasant shows up and... I'm gonna need you in Can I trust you? Can I trust you? What have I got to lose? <laughs> what have I got to lose? <laughs> He's great, man. You don't... That's the thing. Half of a Halloween movie is Loomis. Yeah. And this, I don't get it. Why, why can't you scream? I don't get... Then she screams after. <laughs> yeah. You stay with me and shut up. You stay with me and shut up. <laughs> He's taking charge now. He knows. He knows the stakes. Kind of another thing. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of another thing I didn't get. Where did he come from? Yeah, where did he, like... And then he just kind of shows up. It's like, well, how come... Why didn't you just walk over to her and kill her? And where did she get all this energy from suddenly where she she couldn't even say anything a minute ago? Or and now she's go. all... She's all crawling. Come on, get in! Come on, get in! Come on, get in. <laughs> oh, and this is good. The, the, whole, the whole rest of the movie is pretty good. Yeah. It's just like... I like how, like... Just nothing stops him, right? He's still, He's still breathing. He's still breathing. <laughs> okay. I won't be too okay for too long. <laughs> Get away from him. Get away from him. Get away from him. Stop breathing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's just. And this is where the movie really kicks up, right? Yeah, yeah. No, this is just classic. Here we go. And then this is the other thing, too. Like, Loomis and Michael, the last, you know, ten minutes? This is their battle yeah. here. There's the last scene where Michael faces off against Dr. Loomis again. <laughs> Much more epically than the first movie, though. Yeah. I've always liked this scene, though, because it's like, it kind of... As much as John Carpenter didn't like the whole sister thing, did a good job of like having a good finale mm -hmm. for these characters. If there wasn't going to be any more sequels, yeah, this would be a really good way to end it, right? This really should have been yeah. the end. It should have been the end. 
Michael, he can he could have easy he could have done anything he wanted to Loomis yeah. at that point. But instead he just stabs him in the stomach. Yeah. That's not a kill. That's a maim. He, he just, just maimed him. He just, him. Wants to, he just wanted to kill him. Yeah, no, he just wants to put him out of action. He just yeah. wants to get him out of the way. Yeah. He doesn't want to kill Loomis. He just wants to maim him. Balls in the whole head. Shit. shit. <laughs> Carpenter's really trying to like end the franchise, yeah. right? Shoot him, shoot him in the eyes to blow him up. He's not going to come back. That's it. But, yeah. Uh, See, that's the thing. There's that's, more money than you think. That's the biggest thing. He's he was he had his eyes shot out. Mm -hmm. So where does he like? How can he ever see again after that? Yeah. Now is she such a good shot? Yeah. I I just went, I think <laughs> it's I think if uh, I think if Michael it's not even the fact like I know everybody says too that it, you know he fills out the mask he's all yeah. fatter and yeah. stuff like that yeah that's obvious but that's not even that big a thing because they keep in the shadows it's the fact of how he moves yeah that you feel that divide there I think if he moved faster. I think you would just feel way more like a, yeah. you know. As far as sequels go, it's probably one of the best sequels. Well, I think it's the best sequel to the first one because we've only done how many? Now? <laughs> yeah. No, this is the best sequel. Yeah, you can you can beat it. Out. Out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> get out. Get out. And right here is great. Yeah. You can't get any better than that. And the, the, the both of them die, right? It was supposed to be the end of an era. Yeah. And it wasn't. And they milked <laughs> it for all they could after, but what can you do? And it just got worse and worse and worse. Yeah. It should have seriously ended there. That's where it really did end. And the poignancy of the characters and everything else ended right there too. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. But I still enjoy Halloween 2 quite a bit, even though it's flawed as hell. It's probably the most, like you said, the most rewatchable. Yeah. Because it's just fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta reiterate. It's not as good as the first, but it's more rewatchable than the first, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. Because the characters are so good. Yeah. Bud. <laughs> yeah. Just a lot of great scenes, and it's quotable. The slasher kills. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. It's just a fun movie to just keep rewatching and rewatching. Yeah, yeah. So we'll rewatch it again several times, <laughs> and probably next year too. And until next time, keep drinking. And we're all out. <laughs> we're done. It's time. <laughs>